This is a general preparation for arm balances and the idea is to get used to using your hands to lift the body. Elbows straight, chest open, neck long, lean forward, lift and relax. Chest, neck, lean forward, lift and relax. Chest, neck, Shoulders, lean forward, lift and relax. Chest, neck, shoulder blades spread, so inner edges of your shoulder blades. Lean forward, lift and relax. You can also do a variation with the elbows bent and actually push down with your hands. So chest, neck, Lift your chest, lengthen your neck, hands on the floor. Try to feel where your center is. Place your hands in line with your center. Straighten your elbows to lift and relax. Chest, neck, shoulder blades. Straighten your elbows, press down, relax. With your legs crossed, your heel is under your shin. So for the next exercise, try to uncross your legs. So you're, rather than like this, your legs are like so. Then lean forward, press down with your legs a little bit, lift your hips, and then relax. And slowly lean forward. You'll feel the point where it's easy to lift your hips. So now just press down, lift up, and then relax. If you like, lift your chest, lengthen your neck. Lean forward, lift and relax. Also, you can try it with your foot under your shin. You may find that it is quite uncomfortable because as you lean forward, your shin presses against your foot. Um, so the, this position you may find is slightly more comfortable. This next exercise, you might want to warm up with something like a binding pose, perhaps a side angle with your hands behind your back and pulling your arm, pulling your bottom arm down. It's just because the connection between the leg is slightly similar in binding as compared to arm balancing. Now, for the next exercise, place an arm under the leg, and lift the leg. So we'll call this the upper leg side. So plus place your upper leg hand on the floor. Your down leg hand is lifted. You might want to experiment, have your hand forward or slightly further back. I think having the hand further back is better. You can lift this leg as much as you can. Lean forward. So you're using this leg and this hand to lift up and relax. Chest, neck, lean forward and lift and relax. If you need to adjust the position of your hand, so the secret could be lift the foot, no sorry, lift the chest, lengthen the neck, lift the foot, lean forward, and lift and relax. Using a similar position, again arm under the leg, hand on the floor, this time the other hand, both hands are on the floor. So for this exercise, you'll be using both hands and the legs. So it's sort of like a tra transition from the previous exercise, except with the difference that both hands are on the floor. So you can open your chest, lengthen your neck, lift the leg, and lean forward, and lift your hips, and then relax. And if you need to, you can reposition your hands, or you can experiment, try with your hands further forward, see what happens. Open your chest, lengthen your neck, lift the leg, try to lean forward. You may find you have to bend your elbows a lot and then relax. You could also experiment with having, okay, let's try hands further back. Chest open, neck long, lift the leg, lean forward. This is, I'm finding this easier. You could also try with the hands slightly wide. Lift the chest, lengthen the neck, lift the leg, lean forward and lift. 
You relax and try with the hands about shoulder width apart. This is probably the preferred method, but if you can do them all, chest, neck, lift the leg, lean forward, and relax. Chest, neck, so in this case, leg back, lean forward, lift your hips high, try to lift the knee, and then relax. And this is something you can do after each repetition, just to reseat the leg. Chest, neck, lift the leg, lean forward, lift the knee, and then relax. The higher you lift your hips, the easier it is to lift the knee. At least you may find that anyway. Chest, neck, lift the foot, lean forward. You can use your knee to help lift your hip. Then use your hands to support your weight, then lift your knee, and then relax. And then if you like the natural transition from here, keep on doing the same exercise, just lifting the knee, chest, neck, foot, lean forward, lift the knee. Then if you like, try to lift the foot, and then relax. What you can practice, and as you lift this leg and as you lean forward, <coughs> excuse me, notice the way that this leg presses down on the arm. You can try varying that pressure to see if that helps you to lift higher or perhaps even reach forward more. But for the next exercise, and it may take you some time to work towards it, but work gradually. Chest, neck, lift the foot. Lift the foot as high as you can. Lean forward and lift and then relax. So this is pretty much the same. Chest, neck, lift the foot, lean forward, lift up. Then if you like, reach your chest forward. As you reach your chest forward, your bottom leg will have to reach back and then return. I'm focused on reaching my chest forward rather than reaching the leg back. The leg goes back as a result of me reaching my chest forward. It reaches back so that I stay balanced. So you can try this with elbows reasonably straight so your shoulders are high, like so. so chest and neck, lift the foot, lift up, and try to reach forward. That is quite difficult, but if you're strong enough to do so, do so. An easier option, bend the elbows and reach forward. Chest, neck. You can also spread the shoulders a little bit, lift the leg, lift up, bend the elbows and reach forward, look at my shoulders, and then relax. Rest when you need to. Another variation is to reach the leg out to the side. I'll just demonstrate that quickly. Excuse me. Chest, neck, your shoulders. Try to spread them a little bit, lift your leg, lift your hips, then reach your bottom leg to the side, and then here again, reach your chest forward and back, reach your chest forward and back. If you like, repeat that a few times, you can do it with your breath, inhale forward, exhale back. 